Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a 5 facts about Debussy. 1. He didn't grow up in a musical family. The Mozarts, Beethovens, and Mendelssohns are all examples of legendary and multi-generational classical music dynasties. Unlike the children in those families who grew up with musicianship as a focal point in their lives, Debussy grew up in a poor, working-class family. His mother was a seamstress and his father owned a china shop. Claude Debussy's passion and skill for music, however, was undeniable and the family made the sacrifices necessary to start him in piano lessons when he was seven years old. 2. Debussy's musical genius was undeniable. Within three years of starting on the piano, there was no denying Debussy's musical genius. As a result, he was accepted into the Paris Conservatory, where he studied music and composition for the next 11 years. 3. Performance failure spurned his dedication to composition. We are big believers in the idea that failures are inevitable and should be viewed as an opportunity for learning. Debussy could be a mascot of that concept because his own failure to win the Paris Conservatory's Premier Prix for piano performance, a high honor diploma of musical studies, led him to abandon his dream of being a piano virtuoso in order to focus his talents and energy on composition. 4. He won a scholarship to l'Académie des Beaux-Arts in the Villa Medici. More proof that your losses in life can propel you to greater wins is exemplified in Debussy's 1885 winning of the Prix de Rome. That win helped to earn him a four-year scholarship at l'Académie des Beaux-Arts in the Villa Medici. 5. Debussy had an alter ego, Monsieur Crotch. We are fascinated by the fact that Claude Debussy had an active alter ego, one that he named, Monsieur Crotch. This alter ego was a role he took on to explore imaginary conversations about art, nature, and other soulful and spiritual topics. Originally established as a nom de plume when he worked as a music critic for an art and literary magazine called La Revue Blanche. Within a short time, the nom de plume became an alter ego, and the essays of Monsieur Crotch were collected and published three years later. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.